Sophomore Kevin Springs out the hoop. He hangs and he's fouled. Springs again. This time goes baseline and puts it in. Central comes back on their new and improved court. Scott Swift penetrates for the pretty basket. Swift again has this shot rejected by the Vikings. Will Dodd, but he finds Aaron Maxwell for the hoop. And the Cougars go on to win a close one by a triple, 34-31. Science Hill will be, will be favored to three-peat as Class AAA state champions. They took on our tribal Dobbins Bennett. The Indians, Michael Farthing steps into the passing lane for the steal. Back the other way, the senior point guard hits the soft pull-up jumper. Science Hill got off to a slow start. Brad Fields nails the baseline jumper. But the toppers get their running game going finally. Nathaniel Bailey spins. Finds Fields, who leaves the left-hand shot short. But where does Roy Jackson come from? The board, the foul. Another talented sophomore goes to the line. The Hilltoppers go on to beat Dobbins Bennett by 23. He's an ordinary dunk. To 28. And Springs knows he let this victory slip away. I did pretty good. I tried to make the crowd get a little hype and stuff. But I guess I'll just try next year. It was, it was a good time. I had a fun. But uh, I sort of think I got right a little bit, but... I'll Last year's matchup created there. some of the best games in the conference, but this year, both teams are less worried about the rivalry and more concerned about the problems they still have before the season gets underway. We got to play a lot smarter than we played tonight. We had a bunch of, a bunch of fouls tonight that were just being out of position. You know, I think if our kids continue to get better, I think we'll have a chance to compete for the for the title. You know, playing them, is, that's the best thing you can do. Playing Science on the scrimmage is great. And that's basically what we've done here. And so I've got to learn a few things about some of my players, and I hope this is something that uh, we'll be able to build on as the year goes on. Toppers will open the season this coming Monday at home against Cleveland, while the Cyclones will travel to Cock County a week from tomorrow to face the Fighting Cocks. Tonight, we got a sneak peek. On the upcoming year, the Big 8 Jamboree at Sullivan Central's Cougar Cage. South versus the home team in the opening 16-minute period. And the Cougars still right at home early. Chad Spire steals and goes in for the layup. But this would be a Rebels night. Jason Bridwell makes the nice baseline one-hand turnaround jumper. South wins it 28-21. East versus Tennessee High. Patriots coach John Dyer maps out some defensive strategy. But there's no defense for Kevin Springs. Oh, hurt me, big fella. And he draws the foul. He's excited about it. Vikings roll 39-22. The, the Big H top two teams from last year, Elizabeth and Science Hill meeting. The Hilltoppers are going to be as good as ever. Danny Strebin from way downtown. Then Gabe Gould, his dad is the girls coach this year. He misses the jumper, but gets it right back and nails a trade. Toppers take it 33-25. The finale, D.B. Crockett. Indians coach Kerry Daniels beginning his third season. But tonight, the Tribe is scout for the Pioneers. Crockett wins it 43-29 and the Big 8 Jamboree over at Sullivan Central. Ooh, now at Daniel Boone, the, the Affy Hey, we showed up to watch the slam dunk contest. This was terrific. Tommy Burleson, the former NBA pro on hand to sign a few autographs. The dunk of the night, hands down, no contest. This is it. One hand bank off the board, Jim by Domingo Hale. But folks, it takes more than one dunk to win this thing. It would be Roy Jackson's night. How about this coming up? A 360 as he goes up, around, and down. Then to finish it off, one of the more creative dunks we've seen between the legs of some brave soul, braver than me. Jackson, you have to give him some credit for creativity. My uh, manager, Preston, he came up with the idea, Preston and TJ, and I said, well, you know, it's for fun, so I said, what the heck, I'll go for it. My teammates were looking for me to win, and um, Coach Pitts had already uh, predicted me to win in front of all the coaches, so I couldn't let my teammates and my coach down. The national signing period continues, and ETSU picks up their first big name, Adrian Meeks. He's a big he forward from Mississippi, very arm. physical. The Rebels were up by 19, and Martin Bagwell bags his tray from the corner very well to keep North at least hopeful in the third period. But South Williams Sales quickly dashed their hopes with this triple right from your living room, also on the baseline. We take you to the board. South goes on to win easily tonight, 73-49. to Tonight's a Buckman Husto on the board. Black. Robbie Hoover pulls down the rebound for Sullivan South, and he's back the other way. Doesn't want to pass. He'll go all the way to the baseline and nail the jumper. Martin Bagwell will get open in the key for Sullivan North, and Bagwell, wide open, turns around and hits the jumper. Just before the quarter buzzer, Swift pays dividends with his transfer from Sullivan Central all the way for the basket, and South 
goes on to win this game, however, for an over to the North. Three. 70. A few minutes later, it'll be Springs again, this time with the drive and the layup. This is what the kid really does. Gets inside and he can hang with the big boys. He finishes with 17. In the third quarter, the Vikings score only four points, and Crockett gets back into the game. Tony Anderson, their fine player, puts up, so shut it up. He scores for two. Late in the game, Vikings pull away. David Coffey, the drive, the shot, and Tennessee High wins 54-37, even though they didn't really play that well. You're glad to win, and we give up 37, and we're fussing about our defense, but uh, the kind of games you got to win. You know, you got to win when you don't play particularly Still well. Of basketball we played well. The loss of players like Bailey and Johnson had some critics uh, seeing a chink in the three-time defending state championship armor in Johnson City, but the 96 toppers have brassoed themselves out to a shining 5-0 record that they put on the line tonight in Greenville. As we take you to Hal Henner Gym, where the hill went out running, Gabe, Gabe Goulds rifles it in through Roy Jackson. He makes the nice cut to the hoop. Toppers are up by five, but late in the first, Devils made a game of it. Rusty Mays gets the nice bounce on the tray. Lucky bounce, you might say, from the corner. Goes up and goes back down again. Cuts the lead to two, but the hill kept on coming. Watch the nice movement. Inbounds. Ghouls to Brad Fields to Danny Sturbins. Nice windmill chop to the hole. You know it's going bad when this happens. Jason Champion doesn't exactly act like one here. He puts it in the Science Hill hoop. As if they needed any help already, guys. Yes, that's the wrong one. And Science Hill goes on to roll tonight, 91-50 to over Greenville. Now, the FCA Hoops Championship going on over in Sullivan East, and they were taking on Cherokee tonight in the nightcap of the tournament. And Ryan Lawson got things going on the drive to the baseline for the Chiefs. Layup, and it goes. Very nice. Patriots increase their lead, though, when Brandon Collins gets the ball and drives in for the lane. Bucket off the glass. Brandon Christian was on fire tonight from around the charity stripe. Knocks in the J. As we go to the board, Cherokee wins it tonight by three, 62 to 59. Now earlier down the road, Morristown West taking on Elizabethan earlier, first game of the tournament going on. Sean Witten, if you think he just played football, watch this, gets the Elizabethan into the game in the fourth quarter. Hoop and harm, count it. But it was a little too much Jay Justin Graham tonight, knocking down the tray from outside the arc. And the Pats go on to win it big, 68 to 50. Now down the road a piece in Bluntville, Daniel Boone traveling to Central and two legendary coaches, Bobby Snyder, Dickie Warren meeting tonight. Brad Street though got Boone into the nick of things, calls it off the glass and kisses it off. That's a three-pointer, believe it or not. I know he wasn't trying to bank it. Chad Bentley showed the Cougar fans a little something of his own, nails this 15-footer. Then it was the player of the week's time to shine. Drew Hayworth picks off the pass, goes in for the easy deuce. Who wins it tonight by 20, 66 to 46 over the Cougars in their den.